Yeah, uh, no problem. Let's see, what's my map say? Oh, it's something right there, huh? No. Oh. Oh, jeez. Where did I... Oh, I was like, where did I fall? Oh. Nice. Let's see what's back here. Backfired, but one lovely thing is when you die, uh, at least things like gates stay broken. I love that they don't respawn. So, so all is not lost. <laughs> Look at those bombs are also exploded. Oh, jeez, I did the same damn thing. You know what it is? It's like I'm used to having this power in the other ratchet where you can, uh, like, glide. Or maybe I'm thinking of Jack and Daxter. I'm missing, I'm missing the glide. So it's screwing me up. See? Oh, jeez! Look at that! Oh my god, no! Got it. I'm really having trouble with that. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, there's no... No glide mechanism, okay. So... Huh, oh, okay. I was just panicking, I guess. Okay, so there's this little island here. Huh. There's nothing really here. And where do I want to go? I want to go to like the... The left, technically. Really? I guess so. Hmm. I said there was this guy down by the beach. That's the uh, the old trader buddy from the old, from the last game. I should go talk to him. Well, howdy, friend. Now, what can I do for you? I'm in the market well, for first of all. You know, I happen to have one right here, procured by perfectly legal means, of course. Up with a crowbar. How about we make ourselves a deal? Uh, you currently have 24. Hmm. Sure. Here you go. I'll see you around, partner. Oh, I always think I want to go that way, and then I realize I don't. Oh, jeez. Hmm, are there some doors to be broken here? Oh, those things are funky. Eh? 
Let's see, what do we have here? I'm not sure. It's just kind of a little stash point. Nothing really, though. So, this is kind of the unexplored area. Well, hello there, young fella. Run into any more pirates? The bedrock of this island is filled with trillium ore. Creates too much electromagnetic interference for most ships. That beacon's our only way of hailing them. Oh, wow. Oh, or that. That's just something Darkwater was working on. We sealed it off after he was killed. Best put it out of your mind. <laughs> I love how it's like right in the center of the city. Mutiny, I suspect. Legend has it, Slag dropped anchor in Morrow Caverns and killed anybody who refused to call him captain, including old Darkwater. <laughs> Folks around here still like to scare the tourists with ghost stories about that place. Hmm. Really? Yeah. At least they all give me credit for fixing the power, which is nice. I'm famous now. Uh, let's see. No. Is this... That, right, of course. So that's that thing. I need to go down this way, I guess. Now, what's this? Can I go swimming in this stuff? Oh, cool. That guy, wait. Oh man, that's crazy. So, let's see, what can I do in here? Can I... I guess I can get out there. Let's... Oh, what's this? Here. Uh oh. Gotta watch out for these enemies. They look like uh, floating landmines, I think. That's not good. Oh, Jace, he's getting close. Aha, what do we have here? Uh 
Ojo. What the heck? <laughs> what the Sam? What the heck is going on? Oh, wait. I do not know what to do with these guys. more of them? They're like little Pikmin. That's so weird that they could fall in the water. I do not get this. So. Okay, so I can't. Do not know what's going on there, guys. I might have to come back to that. It's too bad because I came all the way out there, but I just can't seem to make anything happen with those little Pikmin. Interesting. Maybe I do want to go over here.
I've already been here, so I'm surprised that didn't stay broken. Alright, let's see, I have this thing to get to the guy. I almost forgot about that. Hey, you found one! Nice going, kid! Local Beacon Union 319 thanks you for your charitable contribution. Beacon here we go. Just put this on here. <laughs> See if you can give it a good turn there, champ. I do it myself, but I'm on break. Union rules, you understand. All right. Hell of a plug. Well. This is crazy. Oh man, how do I even get up there now? Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. easy to lock on. Oh jeez, I'm trying to jump. Fuck man, that jumping from that angle. It's a real pain in the ass. What the hell?
if I can't move it while I'm on it, what the hell? That doesn't make sense to me. Come on, you piece of shit. Fucking Wow, it really won't let me grab it now. That was close. So close. Look at that fragment of uh, life. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. Oh, are you gonna let me into this? Oh, yes, awesome. Thanks, man. What is it? I give you the obsidian eye. The most powerful Lorentzian telescope in the universe. It was created with lenses carved from obsidian Ooh. glass and powered by a single fulcrum star. Oh, wow. Darkwater built it himself so as to keep in contact with his little friends. Oh, the Can little... Can you tell me where they are? Well, sure, if they have a fulcrum star to activate it. Here, I took the liberty of borrowing this from our archives. They're pages from Darkwater's personal journal. Oh. Cabin's log, the 3rd of August. The trip to the Brader's star cluster was fraught with savings. Not only did I find a great place for cheap crawl cobbler, but I also met a mysterious race called the Zuni. The Zonies. Friendly little creatures they are. Can manipulate time and space to their will. Their leader gave me a fulcrum star I can use to talk to him with once I return to Polaris. It's worth a fortune, but I wouldn't part with it for all the boats in Meridian City. The only worry is me miserable first mate slag. It's only a matter of moons for he tries to pillage me property. But I've taken steps to defend it well into the afterlife using an ancient terachnoid incantation and a coupon for one free curse at the Hula of our Magic Emporium. I'll forever bind me soul to me body so that I may protect the Fulcrum Star. He who disturbs me shall disturb the entire crew. This I swear. Star ought to be locked away with the rest of Darkwater's treasure. Find that star, and you'll find your friend. Ratchet, I think I'm getting a signal. Rusty Pete to Lumbax. I have crucial information about Captain Darkwater. I've dropped an anchor at the whole of our pier. Over and and out. Okay. Ooh, look at that, there's a boat. Well, it's about time, mate. I've been radioing you all, all night. So have you found the Obsidian Eye yet? Yeah, but it doesn't work. Darkwater hid the Fulcrum Star. Not surprising. Cheap old B-Rake never did trust anyone. 
Of course, we were trying to kill him at the time. Good news is, every pirate worth their salt keeps a map to their buried treasure. A map? Well, where is it? Well, that's the bad news. It's probably still with his body over in Morrow Caverns. Tell you what, mate. Why don't you let me help you find it? <laughs> hmm. Um... What? Can't a pirate who's never told the truth in his life go blankly out of his way to help the Lombax who killed his best friend and captain? <laughs> uh, we're Great! In. And I have just the pirate to help us. Ta-da! Ah! Uh, I call it Slag on a Stick. Rerouted his memory banks to his vocal processor so he remember anything he's looking at. Now climb aboard, mateys, and put your faith in good old Captain Slag. <laughs> All right. And so, our hero set forth to Morrow Caverns in search of a map to the mythical Fulcrum Star. With him was Rusty Pete, a noble and true Corsair, adored by women across the galaxy. <laughs> I it's see how he's him manipulating. Do you even know where we're going? Of course I do. I got GPS. Look. Turn right at Isle of Despair. In five leagues, keep left. I love this thing. Hanukkah gift from me mom it was. <laughs> what? Arriving at destination on right. Here we are, Morrow Caverns. Famous Ooh, for its majestic cool. fjords, soothing grottos, and legions of tortured souls awaiting their chance for revenge. What? Uh, what? I didn't say nothing. I still don't understand why we need Slag to find Darkwater. Didn't you help him hide the ship? Well, I was a bit soft at the time. Woke up three days later wearing an evening gown and spooning a kerchief. Ah, watch your tails! He must find Darkwater's body. All right. Cool. Well, I think this is a good spot to take a little short intermission. And. Oh, that's great. You used to get me wedges during the annual holiday party. Yeah. So, no. Well, the 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 characters are taking over. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna have a little short intermission. And then we'll be back.